Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing some metal casting in my garage using my electric furnace. I would have liked to do it outside but it is really windy so I'm kind of forced to do it in the garage. And as much as I would love to make an ingot, I'm going to make a custom ingot. That's right guys, I'm going to make a custom ingot that has my emblem in the middle with a sunburst around it. With some Futhark writing right on the top, Heinrich's made. Like any metal melting video, I need to load the furnace with some aluminum. In this case, I have these little aluminum pellets that I created over the summer by dropping molten aluminum into a big bucket of water. They're pretty convenient for when you need to load aluminum into a smaller crucible in the electric furnaces. With the crucible full to the top, I'm now going to start the furnace and it is going to take about 20 minutes, maybe even 30 for this aluminum to be melted. In today's video, I'm going to be using a foundry sand they call green sand. I keep it stored in this plastic tote with a plastic bag on the top to try to hold the moisture in the sand. But because it's been quite a few months since I've used the sand, I kind of want to add some more moisture to the sand to make sure it holds its shape very well. So the process that I'm doing, because I don't have a molar, is load all of the sand that I'm going to be using into a small five gallon bucket and then spray it down with some water. Use a drill with a paddle wheel to stir it around. I stir it and then I add some more water to it and then stir it again. Once I feel that I have introduced enough water to it, it's ready to be used. And while I was in my garage, I realized I didn't need to use the pattern that I have here in my hand. I have a match plate already ready to be used to make a mold. So I'm not going to do a voiceover on this entire molding process, but I will tell you this. This is where I messed up. See, I'm adding the talcum powder so the sand does not stick to the pattern but I failed to brush the talcum powder around the pattern with a brush. And you will see at the end of this what happens when you don't do that. See, I remembered to use the brush on this half of the mold. And this is where I remembered, oops, I forgot to do that on the other side. So I kind of figured I was going to run into a problem. And there's the problem. Because I didn't brush the sand all over the pattern, there was areas on the pattern where the sand stuck to it. But fortunately, it didn't really come out too bad, but it didn't come out perfect. The aluminum is now fully molten and it is now time to pour it into the mold. I'm going to let this set for about 15 or 20 minutes before I decide to open up this mold. Just look at that steam coming out of that vent. 
and even after 15 or 20 minutes, it is still hot. Even though the sand did grab, it still looks pretty good. But like I said, it's still not perfect. So now I'm going to let this cool down, bring it to the vise, and start cutting off the sprue and the gate and all the other stuff that doesn't need to be there. I'm probably going to get some feedback from using the hacksaw, but to be quite honest, I kind of like using the hacksaw to cut that off. Now that that's cut away, it's now time to take it over to my sander and sand edges and the face of it. I only went up to 220 grit sanding paper and this thing is beautiful. I was debating on applying some aluminum black to it so it had some contrast, but I knew it would be kind of difficult to remove it from the top because of the imperfection. So I'm going to do a little something different for you guys. I like to go on hikes and on this hike I am going to leave this for someone else to find. It really was a beautiful hike. Great spot I have never been to. So I really had to look to find a great spot to leave this, and I think I found it. This appears to be a location that a lot of people stop at. And there's a little spot in this tree that already has a gift in it. Yeah, a bottle cap. Well, I'm going to leave the bottle cap, and I'm going to add my gift to it. I hope they don't think I left the bottle cap. <laughs> 